The Ape Labs Neon is here, and they say it's thicker, stronger, longer, and brighter, but compared to what? Compared to the stick and the stick XL. So what we're gonna do today on this video, we're gonna do a direct comparison, talk about the differences, and let you know so you can make a better buying decision. And we're gonna do it right now. What's going on everybody? Justin Schwartz here, coming at you as always from the lovely DJ's Guru Studio. And today we are going to do a direct comparison of the Ape Labs Neon versus the Ape Labs Stick. Before we get into the comparison, make sure you're checking us out at thedjsguru.com. Give this video a like. If you have any questions, please drop them down below and also consider subscribing. We would love to see you back here again. Now, back to the comparison. So the first thing you're gonna notice, and one of the big marketing things that they talked about with the Neon here is that yes, it is obviously bigger. It is obviously thicker in diameter. More like a branch, right, than a stick. And it is also brighter. And as you can see here, the big thing that you're gonna notice is that there are no visible LED diodes when it comes to the neon here. It really looks breathtaking in the sense of 100% color mixing and exactly the same from top to bottom. Whereas you'll notice here on the stick, you do see the diodes here a bit comparatively. Next thing I do wanna showcase to you is the magnets. So the magnets here are a bit different. As you can see with the ape stick, what happens is this particular magnet actually is reduced and it goes around the outside of the stick here. With the neon tube, what they did was they created a threading here so that way the magnet can just come off. Also is fixed here in this spot so when you're going to stick it on things, makes it a lot easier. Whereas with the stick, uh, it does turn, right? Which is good if you want to put it on an angle, but if you are looking to have it at 90 degree and be straight, it is something that can be a little tricky when you're trying to mount them. So that's what's one difference to keep in mind. Another thing is when you're talking about stick and stick XL, you have on the stick, which is 24 inches, the stick XL is the exact same thing. It's just 36 inches. The stick, you have 45 LEDs. The stick XL has 69 LEDs and the neon actually has 80. So you have a larger number of LED diodes inside, which is gonna give you more overall output. Another thing that I wanna show is you have a beam angle spread. And one of the things that is cool about Ape Labs tubes here is that they actually give off and they emit light, right? You can see my face here. And you see how they actually give off lights where a lot of the other LED tubes out there, because they're not using as powerful LED diodes, they're not actually giving off any light. It's just eye candy. So what you have here with the neon tube is you have 180 degree beam spread, which is gonna give you a wider spread. It's gonna give you more coverage if you are looking to use your LED tubes to give off light. Stick XL is 120 and the stick are 120 degrees, so they're not gonna go as wide. And that's just something that you wanna keep in mind. Another big thing that we wanna talk about is the battery life. Battery life on the Ape Labs Neon is 15 plus hours, which is actually sharing the same battery runtime as the Maxi. Whereas the stick and stick XL, the battery runtime is about 10 hours plus, and that's not going to give you as much time. So significant improvement in the battery functions on the Ape Labs Neon as well. Another major difference that you're going to want to know is the new Neon Tube is IP65 outdoor rated, which means you can use it either indoors or outdoors, and it can withstand rain, dust, and other elements, whereas the Stick and Stick XL are not. So those are only meant for indoor use, and that's another difference you're going to want to keep in mind. So those are some of the major differences that you're gonna see as far as the specs go, as far as the aesthetics and everything. That's something that we're gonna take a look at more in the point of view and I'll show those to you on stands. All right, so here they are on. And 
As you can see here, both are mounted right now on unistands. The difference is here is that the stick requires an ape stick adapter, which then connects to the unistand itself. Whereas the Ape Labs Neon tube actually has threading at the bottom. You just use a reducer, a thread reducer, and you can actually get that directly on the stand without having to use any type of uh, additional adapter that's more expensive and it'll sit vertically on the stand just like that. Let's kind of look at some of the coloring and see the differences just aesthetically as we go through the different colors. Now, all of these have the same number of color macros. Everything inside internally, software-wise, function-wise, all of that is the same and that really works the same with all Ape Labs products. It's Nothing other than the look that's really going to change when you're talking about different products and specifically the stick and the neon. I think they're both really nice looking. I think they both can be used together. So if you already own sticks or stick XL and you're thinking about the neon, it's not something that you necessarily have to like get rid of one and then bring in the other only. You could certainly bring them together and use them in different situations. I also think having the different diameters and the thickness actually might look good to offset your setups whereas not only are you going to have different heights on these you'll have different diameters so giving you a more unique and different look depending on what your setup is going to be like all right so as far as control control is exactly the same ape labs connect ape remote or of course you can bring in any dmx software that you're already using as long as you have the ape labs connect so control is exactly the same and mounting is really exactly the same too, other than the stick adapter that's required for the stick or stick XL and the threading reducer that you'll need to use with the Ape Labs Neon. So that's all the same. Really the, uh, the major differences are the ones that we've talked about. So I think the last thing I wanna do is just show you both of them with a little music mode so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like during actual use and uh, we'll close it out. All right, everybody, so what did you think? We compared the Ape Labs Neon with the Ape Labs Stick and Stick XL, talked about the differences, and really, I don't think that it's something that you need to exchange out if you already own sticks. You could definitely add on Neons and bring those into your inventory and kind of use them all together. If you don't own either of these products, I think it's for you to decide what look you like the best and what makes more sense for your budget. The Neon is the most expensive of the three that we talked about. So that is something you're gonna to wanna to consider. Thank you very much for watching this video. We always appreciate your being here. Of course, if you like this video, give it a like. Make sure you check us out at thedjsguru.com. If you have any questions, you can drop them down below and consider subscribing. We would love to see you back here again. Thank you as always. My name is Justin Schwarz. And as I always like to say, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.